everyone. Today I'm gonna tell you something about what is hidden in here. We are in a place called Monsumano in the northern part of Tuscany. This is where I grew up. And on this side of the hill, the largest thermal cave in Europe, it's located. And can you hear this music playing in the background? Isn't that familiar to you? It's one of the most important and famous compositions by Giuseppe Verdi. So what's the connection between Verdi and Grotta Giusti? Nowadays, uh, the grotto is part of a very important uh, spa center, but its discovery has been uh, totally accidental. It is spring 1849, when a group of quarrymen, which was working here in the mountain, by moving a massive stone, they found down on the ground a slot. They went to look through it, they cannot see anything, but they realized there is hot steam coming up from there. Driven by curiosity, they take a few stones they found here and there, and they drop them inside a hole. The reverberation of the falling of the stones make them realize that they are on top of a large cavity filled with water. They take torches and ropes. They decide to descend down and explore the cavity. Once they reach the bottom, the wonder, the natural wonder that opens up in front of their eyes, leaves them breathless. Stalactites hanging down from the ceiling, stalagmites rising up from the floor as there were man-made sculptures, narrow tunnels, a mysterious hot lake with a constant temperature of 36 Celsius. Just a few years passed and Grotta Giusti becomes a very important attraction. Very many people decide to come over here, including Giuseppe Garibaldi, the Prince of Naples, and our Giuseppe Verdi. After visiting the grotto, he said, this is the eighth wonder of the world. My name is Federico, this is my hometown Monsumano and better we guide.